Hey guys, Dusty Baker and Brooks Baker. Welcome back to the channel. We did something today. Well, there it is. Looky there, little chick is falling asleep. Basically, uh, we went to uh, the feed store to get some feed and we came back with a dozen chicks. That's what happened. What do you have? It is a baby. baby. Some chicks. Baby. Yeah. Look what we got. We got some babies. There's some babies in there. Look what we got today. What do you got there? Did you get a chick? Yeah. Are you excited? It's gonna be fun. We got 12 of them. What happened? Did the chick poop on you? Oh no. Oh no. It's okay. We cleaned it up. Come on. Where's Maya? Bring your chick. We'll put them in the barn. Say, come on, chick. It's a ba chick. baby chick. Baby chick. Baby chick. Hello, Maya. Come on. Show them what you got. Easy. Here, hold it like this. Let go. No. Okay. Easy. Is it baby chick? Baby chick. That's right. We need to make a home for it, okay? Got this old stock tank. This will work perfect. A little dented in. A little rusty. Got some metal in it. But if we use it, it'll work fun. What are you guys doing? What? It pooped. What happened? It pooped. The baby chick pooped? It. It did. Where did it poop? On you in your car seat? Oh man. Maya, what do you think? Did you... <laughs> Baby pooped. We cleaned it up though, didn't we? Yeah, we got it cleaned up. Okay. You ready to make the baby a home? Look, we're going to put the baby in here. We'll put the baby in here, okay? Okay, maybe not. Maybe check. Ty. What are you doing, buddy? You sunning? I know. We're gonna make a home for baby chick, okay? Sisters gotta go in here. No. I have to turn no. it Where's your chick? That's all you're worried about is your one little chick. There you go, babies. Babies? Look at all these babies. See, we already got water for them and everything. 
We need to put a top on it, get him some feed, and we'll be good, right? Are you gonna let go of that baby? I don't think so. We're gonna have trouble getting rid of this one. Yep, goes right in there. Good job. Good girl. So Brooks and I did go to the feed store and as uh, soon as we walked in, we heard the chicks and had to go see the chicks. And that's what we did is um, stood around for a little bit and uh, I let her put one in her hand and uh, that was basically a mistake. I don't know if you call it a mistake, but uh, snake. a snake, oh, a snake. Um, and um, that's what happened is we, uh, we brought home a mixture of uh, 12 baby chicks and this one is sitting really awkward, but it's falling asleep. And uh, basically we walked through the entire store with one chick in her hand the entire time. So she couldn't put it down and uh, we brought it home and she never even pooped on her and everything and she never phased her. So, uh, so we pulled up to the Ponderosa and so basically she didn't put the chick down for, oh, probably 45 minutes or so. And uh, until we made her, until I made her put them in with the rest of them. And uh, so anyways, we're hanging out with the uh, calves, the mixture of a Wolverine calves and our Dakota Pure calves hanging out right here all together, all 21 of them. And uh, so Brooks and I got the baby chicks a new home. And um, so we do have a new addition to the Ponderosa. We got 12 new additions, 12 new cheaper additions to the Ponderosa. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, maybe easier to take care of? I don't know, we'll see. But uh, I used to raise chickens when I was a kid and I think every, every kid needs to raise some chickens. It's a good responsibility. and. This is uh, definitely a way to keep her a little bit more busy and something fun to do here at the Ponderosa. Anyways, for her, and it's better than a cell phone because we like to watch our movies and shows, but this is way better, isn't it, Brooks? Huh? What is that? Say baby chick? Say baby chick? Baby chick. Baby chick, that's right. Okay, let's go put him in his home. Let's go show everybody the home. You gonna go show everybody their home? Okay. <laughs> Is that a baby? Mm -hmm. Chick? What's he saying? found this old water tank had a little bit of rust in it but we got our baby chicks in there didn't we just got a mixture of them we got to put our baby chick back yeah we got to put them back see who needs to be with his friends see needs to be with his friends Well guys, we are at the uh, original place, hanging out, and uh, I do not see the big herd, so we've gotta go drive a little bit and go around and hopefully we'll see, check on the uh, Dunbar herd for a herd check, and I make sure they're doing good, and mamas are getting ready to have babies, hopefully within the next month. Um, but um, I, do, uh, I do love having Brooks around and being able to do all this with her. I am a very lucky person to be able to do this and um, uh, I'm glad she's uh, been able to do this stuff with me and I hope she learns a lot from it. And um, anyways, luckily to do it. And um, just having those chicks, it's, she's just, she is so happy when she gets to play with her baby chicks. And so I knew it was gonna come to a point, it's gonna be a dog or you know, a puppy, it's gonna be a cat. Um, and it happened to be baby chicks, so and it works out. So, and they'll be with the Ponderosa for you know 
as long as we can have them. So um, I'm glad that she's happy. Every time that we are going over there now, I think we're gonna have to let her play with the baby chick. So anyways, all right, uh, I'm gonna check the calves real quick and then um, I'm going to go, we're gonna go check the uh, Dunbar herd and see where those guys are at. So we'll see. Hello! Dunbar herd. So we're over here and uh, we're just doing a little herd check. I miss seeing the Dunbar herd and spending time with them, you know. So it is what it is. Busy at the Ponderosa trying to get that place going and whatnot, but they are all doing good and um, can't wait for calving season, which is uh, very, very soon. Very excited about that here and at the Ponderosa. I've got one cow. It's a 54 cal. I've been watching her at the Ponderosa. Signs are showing that she's getting really close. Here, um, I got a couple too that are uh, getting close. See our princess, she's way over there laying down by herself, just chilling. But we've had these guys in here in this Bermuda patch is what I like to call it. They've been hitting it hard, which is what we want. Some high intense grazing uh, ever since we worked them. We've got a lot here that's recovering and then a lot down here that's recovering. Look how pretty this is. This is our actually, this is actually our little hay uh, lot, hay pasture, whatever you want to call it. We usually, uh, we usually get about, oh, up to about 15 bales of hay on this property, and uh, that's awesome because uh, it's right here on our own property, and, and uh, it helps. I know 15 bales of hay is not a lot, but when it's right here and we just move it a couple hundred yards away and use it uh, for the bison over here, that's pretty awesome. But I do love this uh, this pasture, it's so pretty and it looks clean because we have been taking care of it and getting hay off of it so I uh, keep getting a little bit of rain and then here in another month or so we'll be able to get this cut. Whenever uh, Dunbar, something I was going to say is uh, I didn't see Dunbar when I first came up here, but then he came out. But something I did the other day is he likes to hang out in this old dairy barn right over here during the day when it's kind of hot. And um, the other day I got in there to go see him, make sure he was doing okay. And uh, I was able to get really close to him, and it was pretty fun. Um, probably not, shouldn't get that too close to him. Disclaimer right there. Don't do a lot of the stuff that I do, okay, guys? Um, I'm able to do this because I'm going to spend a lot of time around these bison. If you're starting to go to the national parks or like to places like Custer State Park, Yellowstone National Park, where you can get access to all those bison, um, where you can be up close to those bison, please, please, please be careful. You can't do what I do out here because they do see us a lot. So just keep that in mind. I am reminding you as the season, as the summer starts to... Uh, come into play and you're going out to those parks and those places to see bison please you cannot get out of your vehicle and go up to those and take a selfie and get very close to them okay so be careful that season is right around the corner so with that being said i was in the barn and i was able to get up close to dunbar while he was just laying there chilling and uh, set the camera down so take a look at this and um, hope you guys enjoy it I want to tell you guys we've got some we've got a big drop date on some merchandise um, we got a couple of new items that are gonna be on our website um, that uh, Marissa and I have uh, put together mostly Marissa uh, so excited about those products we got a new shirt coming out now we have jerky back in stock so you can go on our website and check that out we've got lots of uh, snack sticks 
and it's a hundred percent bison guys and, and and it's hard to find that out there but so I have the meat we've got the bison ground patties regular patties and then we also uh, did something this time we have a bacon infused bison patty they're pre-made patties there are three third pound burger patties packed in um, one package one pound package and they are so good um, those pre-made patties the season is coming very soon for grilling it's already started here for us but um, the grilling season is right around the corner so if you guys are interested in uh, snack sticks uh, jerky or um, any of our meat products it's all on our website and you guys can check that out at crosstimmersbison.com stay tuned with us because there's some fun stuff about to happen at the ponderosa we've been building some fence we've been cleaning up some stuff and uh, if you guys know something that i really love to do um you'll know it has to do with three things oxygen fuel and heat and uh if you know what goes with those three things what that equals you know what i'm talking about so stay tuned for that to be a part uh, at the ponderosa stay tuned for that and getting that fence done doing the cleanup process guess what that means and you can figure it out um so stay tuned for that it'll be right here for you with cross timbers bison hey thank you guys for watching us and uh we'll see you next time